now to use completely false statements to inflame the public. You can take the facts and you can twist them in the way that you see fit, but your facts have to be right. And that's probably a, a big improvement in governance. It also has helped uh, then Senator Obama got, had a difficult moment during the Pennsylvania primary when he went out to San Francisco and raised some money. Somebody was in there with a, with a phone and recorded something. So mobile devices will play what role in the future sort of evolution of technology? They're probably the most important of all. Today, everyone here in the audience has a, uh, a mobile phone. Uh, it's the last thing you, you would leave anywhere. That phone has uh, a GPS, knows where it is. Uh, the powerful mobile phones have powerful browsers. They have cameras, as we discussed before. You can do a lot with them. Fast forward a few years from now, with the content and the capability of that, with a new generation of applications, we expect eventually that the majority of uses of the internet will be on mobile phones. Mobile phone usage is growing faster than personal computers. There are many more of them on the order of four billion in the world. In our lifetime, uh, the majority of people, at least five billion, maybe five and a half billion, will have mobile phones. The exponential growth in countries like China and India and emerging markets, as they're called, even though they've pretty much emerged rather well, is extraordinary. In our, I mean, lifetimes, per month. in our lifetimes, we're going from almost no one being able to communicate to almost everyone being able to communicate. We're also going from almost no one having any kind of information and access to libraries to virtually everyone having access to every piece of information in the world. That is an enormous accomplishment for humanity. It brings me to some of the issues that might be uh, relevant here. Number one, uh, in terms of copyright and all of that, uh, you guys would like to have every author of every book ever published make it available through Google. Fair enough? That's right. And furthermore, we want them compensated. And we've entered into an agreement that we hope will be approved by a court of book publishers and authors where essentially rights holders will register and they will get a, essentially a commission and a payment for the use of their work if it's printed uh, on an electronic basis. We hope that in this model, people will be comfortable that if people find the book, they'll buy it online, either in, in uh, text form, or they'll go to Amazon or something like that and purchase the book, in which case the author will also be happy. Or they'll put it on their Kindle or their Kindle or, their or what have you. Reader or something. It's, it's worth noting, by the way, that if you imagine the power of these mobile devices over a five or 10 year period, they should be possible to do almost everything that we do today with other means. It should be possible to read books very well on those devices, make it as fast as reading a magazine. It should be possible to